I think it was a, I think it was on No Jumper, and you talked about how you look at divorce rates overall and they're mm-hmm. relatively high, but when you look at divorce rates for rich households, they're actually pretty low. Lower, yeah. Lower. Mm-hmm. Uh, explain mm-hmm. that. Well, uh, the stat was people over a quarter of a million dollars, the divorce rate tends to be about 20%. And it falls kind of in line with the high value thing because like it or not, the females, females have evolved to be the more social of the group. And when you have a man who has a certain status, he tends to have a network, visibility, more things link you and tie you to a relationship than just your ability to get along with a man. Uh, and there tends to be more reason for women to stay. Um, now, there could be people that say it's because of the money. I, there are, Causation and correlation are, 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 are two different things, but you can't deny the fact that people with more tend to stay together longer and their reasons are always theirs. But they're there. Yeah, I mean, money fixes a lot of problems. Point blank, period. It doesn't fix every problem, but it fixes a lot of problems. It lubricates the, the machinery. Yes, it gives you... It, 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 there's an old saying that money doesn't uh, money reveals the truth. So there's a reason why, you know, whether you're Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones and you got bastards all over the, all, all over the kingdom, well, he can do that because he's Robert Baratheon. He's the king. Or whether you are this person or that person, this person in the media with this amount of children, but you can't do that as readily if you're an average guy. And we see the truth. See, men accept these things. And women, why will a woman choose to line up to become one of a one of seven baby mamas versus being one of one for the plumber? I didn't make it. I just look at it. Well, yeah. I mean, as someone who started out as a computer programmer, mm-hmm. you know, went to school in Berkeley, got a good computer programming job, started my own business, you know, doing technical recruiting, making good money, but still, you know, someone who is not in entertainment, in the spotlight, whatever else, I remember the difficulty it was dating and finding certain types of women back mm-hmm. then. Once I'm DJ Vlad, once Vlad TV is a, a household name in certain communities, mm-hmm. and you could look me up, you could Google me, you could figure things out about who I am, or you may have already been a fan of me when I met you, the interaction between women is completely different. I'm not even going to say slightly different. I would say there's a 180 degree yeah. difference between the two. And in, in fact, you know, it's almost like the, the roles are reversed in a way where I found more women trying to, you know, chase after me as opposed to the other way. Mm-hmm. And, but the thing of that is, is that it's not just that, that as well brings a confidence in a man where he feels that he could approach anyone he mm-hmm. wants with a level of confidence of like, hey, do you know who I am? Mm-hmm. Or let me, uh, if you don't, I, I'll tell you, which I think is a game changer also in the way that you interact with someone as opposed to just being like a regular guy trying to somehow talk your way into this woman's uh, good graces. Mm-hmm. So in effect, you've just described the visibility component of being a high value man, mm-hmm. uh, which is far more than just the money because your network, because they can find you LinkedIn level, uh, because other men who are high value recognize you as part of their inner circle, because now that you're an employer, you're useful to others and the group. You've done it for a consistent period of time. All those things are what I, the people may not like it, but it is that way. But I think the telling part is when you were the same man as computer programmer, when women say, I want a good average man. No, you don't. Most women tend to want the lifestyle and the things that come along with high value. And just because we're having that conversation and more women are saying this, it's like, well, that's superficial, that's shallow. No, it's human evolution. I mean, and I automatically don't look at someone in athletics, entertainment or music and put them into that category of high value because their money comes different. It's a different scenario. It's far more your case where you've actually decided to go from one place and you've made yourself into who you are now. And I think more power to you. 
Yeah, I mean, I actually thought about it the other day. I became DJ Vlad 20 years ago. Like, it's been, I'm 47 right now. So mm -hmm. almost half a life ago, I transformed into a different person in a way, although I was the same person. I still have the same first name. Right. Uh, I was always called Vlad, but now I'm DJ Vlad. Mm -hmm. And these days, you know, two, three million people tune in to hear what I have to say. Uh, chances are, if you are a hip hop fan, you've watched at least a few of my interviews. Right. And it, it, it changes the, the dynamic of it all. Uh, I feel like if I walk into a party, I could talk to any woman in there. I could walk up to any woman with full confidence, regardless of who she is, how she looks, whatever else. That was not the case with computer program flat. I was definitely a lot more nervous. Uh, I would not approach certain women. Uh, it, it was just a different dynamic. So as you Are become- Are you a better man now? Um, No, I'm the same man. Thank you. Same man, same values. Thank you. Know, you. Uh, I'm I'm older. <laughs> I probably looked better back then. <laughs> you know no, actually, actually, like... <laughs> actually, men can hit their stride after forty, and mm -hmm. your story is what men what men have been talking about for the longest. We know these things. Mm -hmm. Now, see, the thing is, there's only one DJ Vlad, and there. If you went into that party, how many women would stand in line? figuratively to talk to you versus talking to the 20 year ago version of you. Right. Not that many. That's my point. Not, not that many. No, no one, no one would be taking pictures with Vlad, the programmer and tagging me on their Instagram and, you know, whatever else, you know, because they also look at me as someone who could potentially make them a star or make them famous or make them go viral or whatever. So they want something out of me as well. I get it. Yeah. I, I, I get it. it there's a it's big always picture been here. The same. It's not, it's always been the same. And uh, I mean, listen, I, I like it better over here than back there. Like, I'll be honest. Well, and, that, and that's the point. And see, men accept the reality. And the guys who are seeing you in their 20s, they're saying, I want to get to be like him. Uh, but they real, men realize that there's a process. And, and, and sadly, if you have options like that, you get to pick from what you choose and then when someone tells you just to be socially acceptable you need to accept a woman that you're not necessarily as attracted to for this or that men are getting shamed for being able to exercise the same options that women demand they have and and there are countless stories to talk about this and i don't want to say anybody's name on your platform but you can go and look throughout Hollywood, where women of one stature are trying to get men who are obviously on a different level than them, but the man's response is criticized or scrutinized far more than this person's audacity to think, just because I make this, we're on the same level. That's not how we are. Never has been. Never has been. The late great Patrice O'Neill had a bit called, you know, the king and queen system. He's like, the king can go get with the lowest barmaid and elevate her to the highest level in land, the queen. The queen, you just the king's, I mean, you just be the queen's husband. You can't automatically just become the king. We know these things. 